Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into No More Room in Hell 2, the much anticipated sequel to the original cult classic released in early access on October 22, 2024. This game aims to deliver a hardcore zombie survival experience, but does it live up to expectations? Let's break it down. First impressions matter, and No More Room in Hell 2 certainly delivers with its atmospheric design. The game plunges players into a post-apocalyptic world filled with undead horrors, requiring not just skill, but also teamwork to survive. Unlike frantic shooters like Left 4 Dead, this game emphasizes on a slower, more methodical approach, akin to Escape from Tarkov. You'll find yourself navigating through oppressive darkness, where every flicker of your flashlight counts. Cooperation is at the heart of the gameplay. You start each round isolated from your squad, armed only with a basic gear. But here's where the game shines. If you manage to sync up with other players via proximity chat, you can work together to tackle objectives. This not only heightens the thrill, but also increases your chance of success. Forming alliances with fellow survivors is a key to extracting supplies safely, making each run feel unique. The game kicks off with a random spawn and form there your mission is clear, gather supplies, complete objectives, and reach the extraction point. However, the challenge lines in the mechanic themselves, zombies are tougher, resources are scarce, and the permadeath feature adds a layer of tension. When you die, you lose everything, forcing players to weight their actions carefully. This mechanic creates a sense of urgency and realism making every decision feel significant. Players will encounter various objectives that require teamwork and skill. Unlocking caches of weapons and resources through minigames not only provides a satisfying gameplay loop, but also encourages collaboration. Successfully completing these challenges is rewarding and often feels like a real achievement amidst the chaos of the zombie apocalypse. Graphically, No More Room in Hell 2 has made significant strides from its predecessor. The the game is built on Unreal Engine, providing a realistic art style and expansive environment. The dark, gritty aesthetic enhances immersion, pulling players into its haunting atmosphere. However, while these improvements are commendable, they can often be overshadowed by the game's reliance on darkness, which may leave some players straining to see what's ahead. Unfortunately, not all is well in this post-apocalyptic world. Server issues plague the experience, leading to frustrating rubber banding and desync at crucial moments. These technical hiccups can derail well-laid plans, making the game feel unpolished and detracting from the overall experience. The lack of dedicated servers across regions adds to this problem, often leaving players struggling to communicate effectively. One of the most glaring issues is the complete absence of a tutorial for a game that demands strategic thinking and cooperation, having no guidance is a huge Huge oversight. New players may find themselves overwhelmed, which can quickly lead to frustration. A simple tutorial or written guide could have eased the newcomers into the gameplay, allowing them to acclimate to the mechanics before diving into the chaos. Let's revisit the permadeath system. While it does add tension, it can also feel punishing, especially when you die due to the server issue rather than your own mistakes. The game offers random bonuses as you progress, but losing everything upon death can be, dis can be disheartening. For some, it may feel like a barrier rather than a challenge, limiting the enjoyment of the game. So, is no more room in hell too worth your time? The foundation is undeniably strong, with an engaging atmosphere and cooperative gameplay. However, the current state of the game feels undercooked, plagued by technical issues and a lack of essential features. If you are a fan of hardcore survival games and you can overlook these hurdles, it may still be worth exploring in its early access state. But for those who are seeking a polished experience, it might be best to wait for the future updates. Thank you for tuning in. Have you tried the No More Room in Hell 2 yet? What are your thoughts in its, its early access build? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more games reviews and previews. My name is Abelon and until the next video, peace.